Today is mail day. We're gonna take a look at a handful of cards I picked up off of eBay, as well as a package of cards I received from a hobby buddy of mine, Shane, over at Shoebox Legends. I'm Brandon, I'm learning about sports cards. Let's take a look. First up, we're gonna take a look at my recent eBay pickups. Nothing crazy here, just a couple cards. Uh, the first one is this Young Guns uh, Casey Middlestat. Um, he's the one of the newest members of the Avalanche. Um, hopefully he'll be able to fill in that uh, second line center uh, that they really need. Um, but, uh, I have no doubt he's going to fit in uh, really well. Great pickup, I think, for the Avs. Um, and the guy he was traded for, Bo Byram who I believe is going to be also a great fit for Buffalo. So I think it's a, a good trade on both sides. Um, hate to see Byram go, but uh, I understand the the need for a second line center uh, at Colorado. But this is the Metal Universe Purple Spectrum, Bowen Byram. And this is numbered 199. Got that one, and then I also picked up the Landeskog Spectrum, uh, Purple Spectrum as well. And hopefully he's uh, back in time for the playoffs. We'll see how that goes. Number 10 of 199 for this one. All right, next is the uh, care package I've got here uh, from Shane over at Shoebox Legends. Uh, he was very generous enough to send me here a little package of baseball, hockey, and some non-sport cards. Just a little note here. Brandon, just a few cards I hope you'll enjoy, and a few I know you will. Keep up the awesome work and stay in touch. Shane, Shoebox Legends. So, he's a great guy, great channel. If uh, you don't follow him, take a look in the link uh, in the show notes below. Um, I've got a link to his channel there. You can check out his stuff. A lot of baseball and hockey and some non-sport cards. So check out his channel um, and give him a follow. So starting out here, we've got a handful of baseball cards. Uh, Shane knows that I am a San Francisco Giants fan. And man, I'm gonna have to set these down here. I've got a stack of cards, some Bowman firsts. There's a Bowman Chrome and the Bowman paper. Um, I like Bowman um, and these will definitely go into the um, Giants binder. I've got like a big Giants orange binder that is, <clears throat> what is it? One of those 12, 12 page binders. Um, there's that nice Willie McCovey from Stadium Club. It's like he's smashing the ball there. Good photo. It's a little bit older. This is 20, yeah, 2016. Stadium Club usually has really great, great photography. Nice. And then we're going to go back a little ways here. We've got a Giants manager card here, Bill Rigney. I like the old uh, Giants logo, the little pennant there. There's the back. Nice little variety here. We got some modern, some vintage. And these cards I have never seen before. East meets West. And there's a pair of them here. East meets West. Masanori was the first Japanese player to appear in a major league game. The lefty won a decision for the Giants in 1964. Okay. That's cool. 2001 tops. Nice. Uh, next up, we got a little bit of modern stuff here. Luciano in the Bowman Chrome Hi-Fi Futures insert. And another Luciano. This is a was this stars of MLB, a rookie card. 
uh, insert there, like some sort of like explosion or something behind him. I uh, I like shine, and this is gonna go right into that giant's binder. And there's a Bowman first blue, I think it is the or light blue. I forget Bowman's. They've got a lot of parallels now these days. But that one's numbered to four ninety nine. And then we've got some, ooh, we got some vintage. Ozzy Virgil. This is, oh, this is, uh, the Giants were in New York, not San Francisco. And there's the back. And there's another one here. Whitey Lockman. Also New York. don't think I have either one of those. That's awesome. Willie Clerkland. What is this? The 60? I think that's 1960. If I remember right. And they're in, back in San Francisco. Oh, and then there's a Bobby Bonds, father of uh, Barry Bonds. The infamous gray border. Nice. I don't know that I have this one either. And we've got a Bob Schmidt, our catcher, or like vibrant uh, background there. It's funny how sometimes they've they've gone from actual photos um, to partial photo with the background removed back to a standard regular photo um, throughout time here. And then the last baseball card, this Bill Terry, which this is a Fleer, it was a 1960, I think it is, if I remember right. Um, I don't have a ton of vintage Fleer baseball cards, so this is pretty cool. Um, Bill Terry was a, a manager and a player uh, for the Giants and at one time did both. So he was their, their manager and played for the team at the same time. Um, I think he's got one World Series title to his name and he's a Hall of Famer. So that's awesome. All right, let's move on to some hockey here. We've got a little set, it looks like, of OPG hockey. If I can get it out of this little bag. There we go. And these are the 1987 OPG mini cards. And it looks to me like it is the complete set. Um, yeah, because there's 42 cards. This is the checklist card. I'm guessing that this is the complete set. Glenn Anderson. Dino Sorelli, there's a North Stars uniform. Those are our great uniforms. Paul Coffey. Ron Francis, the Whalers. Another great uh, logo there. Doug Gilmore. Goulet. The great one. That's cool. Man, look at that mask. That looks like a custom, like a mix of a standard hockey helmet, a face mask, but then it's like pointed at the back, sort of. That's an interesting looking uh, goalie mask there. Right, Hayward, Ron Hextall, the waffle. Man, Doug Jarvis. There's Yari Curry. LaFontaine and Lemieux. Man, Mike what? Kinnis. The Moose. 
It's the original moose. <laughs> Reinhardt, Luke Robitaille, the old uh, King's uniform. Patrick Waugh, back on the uh, Canadians. Yeah, I'm guessing they looks like this is the complete set. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Shane. And the checklist. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know that I own any of these cards. And I do like off-size cards, like minis and oversized cards, so this is right up my alley. Um, <clears throat> next, we've got a handful of cards that I recently did a video about, um, and this is part of a set that I'm building, and that is the 2013-2014 Panini Prism Blue Parallels. Um, I'm... I don't know, I think like three quarters of the way through. And I talked about a little list of cards that I don't have. And Shane was kind enough to go through his collection and find uh, a handful that were on my uh, want list, need list, um, and send these as well. So this is the uh, Henrik Zetterberg and the Victor Hedman, which that that color man color match with the uniform is awesome it's like made for a tampa bay great looking card the brent seabrook another great color match here with henrik sedin and the robert roberto luongo Another awesome color match there with Vancouver. So that's great. I don't have any of these five cards. I'm happy to add these to the set that I am building. And we have just a couple more cards that are non-sport cards. Um, these are the 2010 Top Star Wars uh, widescreen cards. They're kind of like holographic and I don't it's gonna be difficult to see here with this light the movement in these but these are awesome I didn't even know these existed but very happy to add these to the collection I love Star Wars um, and have a small uh, Star Wars and Halo collection of non-sports man these are cool and there's a little stack of them here it's like from the movies magnificent cloud city Got some bounty hunters there. Yep. Vader's bounty trackers. That's interesting. Man, that's awesome. And we got a couple more here. C3PO, R2D2. Like he's fixing his leg. <laughs> Stop wasting time. Man, these are awesome. I really appreciate it, Shane. Um, uh, oh, that looks like uh, they're in the swamp in this one. Or Luke was cleaning off R2-D2 after he went into the muck. Man, seems like I'm going to have to rewatch some Star Wars. It's been a little bit since I've gone through the original, I guess, original six. Artful Dodgers. And that's the last one. Looks like they're flying through the asteroid field. 
these are really cool. I really appreciate this, Shane. Um, thanks so much. If you're still here watching, thank you for watching. Go ahead and get, take a look at Shane's channel, Shoebox Legends, in the link below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.